Hey guys, welcome to the Pokemon Rant Part 2. Um, once again, I'm a religious person. I'm gonna say that again. So, I mean, yeah. <laughs> but this guy has no idea what he's talking about. You, you should see Part 1 to understand, alright? Um, so Pokemon is an evil si- oh, well, wait, never mind. You know the title. And this video is made by Kurt, as you've seen before. Give the credit to Kirk. I mean, give the credit to Kurt. That's who released this video. I don't want to get attacked by YouTube for stealing videos or whatever. So let's keep watching. The satanic. But while you might not take it quite seriously, I assure you that demons take it quite seriously. Demons taking Pokemon seriously. What? How could demons take a, take a game or a TV show for the matter where a guy just goes around and captures animals and uses them to fight? I mean, that has happened a lot in the real world. And yeah, it's a bad thing. But at the same time, you need to consider that this is a world that doesn't exist. But of course... You'll later see in the video, this guy doesn't understand. Satan takes it quite seriously. Your children knew, need to know there's a devil, and he hates them, and he wants to ruin their life. Uh, there was even a couple of reports where children had been stabbed by other children over Pokemon cards. I understand. Satan is evil. He, uh, he, he shouldn't have attacked God. God is... God is great, and he has done great things by creating this world for us and putting it in the right position of the solar system for us and creating the right plants and the right animals for us to eat so we can live. I That's why I dislike Satan, because Satan would disrespect someone so great like that. And of course, some of you guys would disagree with me, but that's my belief. My belief is God is a very, very good person. Yeah. I'm, I'm saying person. I'm, he's God. He's a God, though. Can a God be a person? I don't know. Whatever. I, I, it's stupid. But anyway, um... A kid stabbing a kid over Pokemon? It's not Pokemon's fault. It's the... Not, maybe it's the kid... It's either the kid's fault or the parent's fault. Alright? If a kid is gonna stab another kid whatsoever over something so minor, they should be put in a mental institution. Don't... Don't take away Pokemon. That's the same logic that people who want to ban guns have. They say, ooh, there was a shooting. Let's ban guns. But didn't you consider that the shooter is deranged instead of a law-abiding citizen who could have shot him with the... Oh, uh, whatever. You know what? I'm not going to get into politics. So let's keep going. Do you remember the Dun Dungeons & Dragons game of the 80s where uh, children, young people even ended up killing themselves because it was a role-playing game? Once again, those people were crazy. Dungeons and Dragons is not the real world. The only way it can really affect you in the real world is if you're addicted to it or if you're mental. Pretty much it. Our kids are going out in gangs on the streets and they're so used to killing each other in their fantasy games and on their video screens and blowing each other away and blowing each other up that when they walk down the streets and they pull out their 45 and they pump some friend full of bullets, they kind of think in the back of their mind, well, they're just going to, we'll, we'll turn off the machine and they'll get up and they'll be there tomorrow and I'll shoot them again. I don't think I need to repeat it again. That kid is psycho. He should be put in a mental institution. Don't blame the game that he was playing. Just, I mean, I play Doom. An extremely violent video game. Well, actually, it shouldn't count because you kill demons, and demons are evil. I mean, I believe demons exist, and they're evil. They'll possess people and do supernatural stuff. They're they're terrible. But anyway, um, what was he saying? So, p putting a 45 into another kid because he was playing a video game, thinking he's going to respond. Once again, mental kid. Be, should be put in a mental hospital. It's just a game. To which I it is just a game. Unless you're addicted or mental. Whatever. I should need. Russian roulette is just a game. 
Russian roulette is completely different. Russian roulette, you are getting a real gun and pointing it to your head. Alright? That is more than just a game because it has a lot more of a risk to you. You can actually die from it. I could play video games for weeks straight, and the only reason why I would die is either from starvation or dehydration or, extremely unlikely, it's a thunderstorm and a lightning bolt goes through and goes up from the ground and up to the ceiling and shocks my Xbox and then goes to my controller and shocks me. Which, if that happens to you, your life sucks. But they're so into this make-believe world that they can't distinguish between fantasy and real. Listen, I can't... Yep, I don't need to repeat what I said before. You guys probably know what I'm about to say, so let's keep watching. I can't stress this enough. How that everything in life is real. Everything. I assure you, what your children watch, what you watch, affects you radically. I know I sighed too much. Affects you radically. Yeah, maybe it does. Maybe it does. I mean, I watch anime, and sometimes I walk around and I say anime stuff. Like, I watch Fairy Tail, and I'm like, FIRE DRAGON ROAR! And like, you're such a weeaboo, man! I'm like, I'm not a weeaboo! I'm not! I'm not! Uh, whatever, I need to stop using a stupid voice. But, affects you somewhat. It doesn't really, really affect you. It just shows what you like watching, you know? Um... But radically, no, that isn't always true. It is not always true. So, I mean, I understand if you don't like it when your kid's just watching violent stuff. Uh, but it doesn't affect you radically unless you are mental. Whatever. Let's keep watching. People here today, they can't get saved. Some of you can't go to heaven. Why? Well, yeah. <laughs> Why? 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 What, what you do with your brain has a direct correlation of where you're going to spend eternity. You know, the media in this country, uh, whether it's, listen, rock music. Rock music, I'm tired of hearing this one. See, I always hear rock music is satanic. <laughs> okay, that's a generalization. Maybe some rock music can talk. I mean, might talk about worshiping the devil, but I'm pretty sure I've heard rap music or maybe even pop music that says really bad stuff. Like not not as bad as worshiping Satan, but it has pretty bad stuff like cheating on. I don't know. I don't listen to rap or or pop, but I listen to metal a lot, and that's beyond rock. And I'm gonna tell you, I do not listen to satanic stuff. So stop with the stereotypes. Whether it's the perverted primetime programming and cable programming and the movie industry, whatever. And now the internet. Oh yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video. Anyway, God has given us free will. Apparently this guy doesn't really give a crap about that. Also, not to mention, Pokemon is not satanic. If you're religious, keep playing Pokemon. I'm gonna get into Pokemon sometime soon, and even seeing this guy, I'm still gonna play Pokemon. You know why? Because pff, this guy might say he's saying a word of God, but I don't think God would say something stupid like this. So, uh, yeah, that's my little rant for you. See you guys next time.